गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट इन विट्रो कैपेसिटेशन ऑफ मैमेलियंस पार्म एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो इन आवर लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट द इन विवो कैपेसिटेशन ऑफ मैमेलियंस पार्म here i have mentioned what is capacitation and i have also mentioned its mechanism so i will highly recommend you to go through this lecture before proceeding through today's one the link is in the description box okay so in vitro means outside the body during various types of artificial fertilization techniques in vitro capacitation is performed outside the body in the laboratory in an artificial fertilization technique such as intrauterine insemination or iui sperm do not go through the female reproductive system as they would in natural fertilization sperm are here directly placed inside the uterine fundus hence molecular events of capacitation that occur in vivo must be imitated to give the sperm the ability to fertilize the egg same is true for in vitro fertilization or ivf the sperm must go through the capacitation process outside the female body as the egg sperm fusion occurs in the laboratory both procedures like ivf and iui so both procedures require pre treatment of the ejaculated sperm in the laboratory that is known as in vitro capacitation techniques of in vitro capacitation there are two main techniques one is density gradient centrifugation and the other is sperm washing by swim up these techniques of in vitro capacitation are followed after induction so induction is very much important now sperm cells are harvested through ejaculation or directly from the epididymis they are allowed to liquefy at room temperature now the media is added to mimic the composition of fallopian tubes the incubation of sperm in media is very important since the capacitation occurs in this stage now what are the media components glucose lactate pyruvate these are actually different energy sources for the sperm now a cholesterol acceptor that is albumin is also required to facilitate the removal of cholesterol from the sperm cell membrane hence this albumin is also added in the media media also contains calcium chloride that is added to uh, facilitate the influx of calcium now why the cholesterol removal and calcium influx are important i have explained in my last lecture that is in vivo capacitation let's see the density gradient centrifugation now we have the capacitated sperm so media are placed in a test tube from higher to lower density followed by the semen sample so here we have the semen sample and here is the media 40% media and then 80% media so we can form the gradient like this second stage is the centrifugation after centrifugation step sperm with best quality will be able to overcome all the gradients and reach the bottom of the tube so these are the motile sperm in the bottom of the tube these sperm will be extracted as they have progressive motility and post centrifugation in this tube we have the seminal plasma in the top and then we have the media of 40% and here we have non motile sperm and some dead cells and here we have the 80% media and here we have the motile sperm next is sperm washing by swim up in this technique media are placed in a tube where semen sample is added 
So here we have the semen sample plus medium in this tube. Next stage is centrifugation as usual. Now all the sperm cells are gathered at the bottom of the tube after centrifugation. So after centrifugation we have all the sperm cells in the bottom of the tube. Seminal plasma will be separated from the top. So after centrifugation in the top we have seminal plasma which will be removed and here is the sperm in the bottom. A specific culture media is added. So here now we will add some specific culture media and the tube is left in an inclined position just like this so that the best quality sperm can swim upwards until they reach the edge. Now we will wait for 45 minutes and the upper part of the culture media is separated which contains sperm with progressive motility. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.